we have a racist society from top to bottom impacting healthcare, housing, criminal justice, education, you name it. And clearly this is an issue that must be dealt with. But in terms of criminal justice, what we Stop. have got... A racist society from top to bottom. If you've been watching this show, what is it now, four years? If you've been listening to me on the radio now, 17 years, give or take? If you've been reading my books, you know this is typical of a Marxist, not a democratic socialist. That's an attempt to candy coat what he really is, of a Marxist. Ripping a society to shreds. Ripping a culture to shreds. You must destroy what exists in order to recreate what is in your head. A racist society from top to bottom. Let me tell you something about this society. We have all kinds of people in this country, all colors, all religions, all preferences, all ethnicities, you name it. And if this were a racist country from top to bottom, we'd be in a constant state of civil, domestic violence and war. That's the truth. That's the truth. This man rejects that just like he rejects capitalism. He is a dangerous old man. And for Republicans on TV and radio and elsewhere who feel so far that the Democrat Party is sticking it to Bernie Sanders, I have no problem with them sticking it to him at all. Why should they embrace him? He's not even a Democrat. So don't count me among those. Matter of fact, some of my friends say, shh, 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 we want him as the nominee. Maybe so. But I'm still going to talk about what a ruthless SOB this is. And he's right about <clears throat> Marxism, communism, one and the same, really. They are racist. They're racist in China. Look what they do to people in China. Muslims, Christians, and so forth, Hindus. Look what they do in these, these, uh, these uh, uh, communist racist societies. But you have a man like this who must viciously attack and abuse this country, who must look at the imperfections, look at the examples of racism, and then project them as an epidemic. We have poor in this country as we do in every country, but in many cases our poor are less poor than others, and we have trillions of dollars in social nets that we've built in this country, to the point we're going broke over them. Massive redistribution of wealth through a so-called progressive income tax, and on and on and on. They don't have this in most societies. They can't afford it in many cases because they're not capitalist, but they don't want it in most societies either. We do in ours. It drives me batty to listen to this guy, to know he has appeal to, a, to a, some portion of the population when he attacks every aspect of this magnificent society none of which he's contributed to, none. For more, sign up for Levin TV.